Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at an incredible plugin I think you guys should get. The name of this plugin is Gravity Rope and it is made available by Isianu, the owner and you know the creator of IK3D. So this tool is just so awesome. I really wish I had this tool a very long time ago and you can literally create any kind of rope using physics directly here in blender so we're going to get into how you can get you know get started with working with these things but for the most part if you want to get this link is going to be in the description where you can go through and get this so first things first let's dive right into blender and see how you can get started with this so with blender open what we're going to do right here is to press n on our keyboard and you notice i have the gravity rope you know add-on installed right over here and how you actually work with this is just super easy first things you need to do is just press the plus button and once you do that hit on simulate and there you have it this is how simple you can get your ropes going of course you might also be wondering how can i adjust this so if you've ever had issues making ropes or you know trying to make some very interesting stuff like this i mean you can just literally go ahead and take a look at this so with this i can just you know move that to wherever i want and press the plus button and of course i have another interesting rope going on for me right there the cool thing about this is there is a preset right here a preset that saves you all that time of calculating physics and you know what rope material you want to work on you don't need to bother about that right now there is a preset that you can simply click and then you can have exactly the kind of material or you know the kind of rope that you want to use for your project so if you are trying to also move these things around you know something like that makes a lot of sense now there's also some other questions you will be having and you probably want to ask and i'm just going to put those things to rest right now what if you want to create multiple ropes or let's say you want to have one rope pegged into different places this is not a problem as you can hold down shift on your keyboard and simply use the right mouse button and navigate or you know move the 3d cursor to wherever you want and once that is done go right over here and click the plus sign to add a brand new connection in fact let's actually make a whole lot of things happen so that you guys can find this very interesting to play with so you can also choose to do that and add one more and i'm also going to do that and just add one more you know we just want to have fun playing with this stuff so with this done I would go ahead and hit on simulate and once you do that you'll be able to simulate this as much as you want and again once you're doing your simulation you can choose between either of these things and you know get whatever you want going and one of the cool parts about this is when you're creating ropes like this you can literally just stop this at any point in time and then you can consider playing with the physics properties of course you can still choose to play with the physics properties anytime you want when the simulation is going on but i just feel like it makes more sense to kind of play with the physics property just before you get started so let's say we want to make the length a little bit longer like that and we want to change this to cable which i think makes sense and we're also going to go ahead and just simply press the you know simulate button and there you have those brilliant looking cables happening of course this is definitely going to be a huge time saver I, I i know for sure this is going to be a huge time saver so i'm bringing this to you guys so you guys can take a look at it and see now with this going there is also the idea that you might want to hang things like cloth maybe you want to throw in some sort of uh, shoes you want to put some pendulums you want to have some things hanging around your model or maybe you just want to have things you know hanging around the, the rope so i'm just going to go ahead and create this and you know just move these handles i love the fact that you have handles that you can simply move around so i'll go ahead and hold down shift on my keyboard and also tap on a to get this and i'm also going to go ahead and add a little sphere now we're putting the uv sphere hit s on your keyboard and scale this down and once this is done i would also want to attach this over to the entire rope all right so how do we get this going how we can get this going is pretty simple with this selected i hold down shift and select on this other one and then you would notice that right here we have the word pendulum so once i click on this part and get this down i can click on the plus sign and we have the sphere right there of course you actually don't see anything happening but right here you can see it says added sphere and once i go ahead and hit the simulate one more time you would notice that we have this right over there this is just pretty neat and i just see you know i love it uh but this is also going to bring up a couple of questions that might have to do with now that you have this right here how do you position this across certain parts of the rope 
So what we want to do is to position this particular sphere, let's say at a point like this. So you need to use the position slider right here and you'll be able to travel through. You see, you can just go all the way up and down, up and down and right here. Maybe that is exactly where you want this thing to be and that is exactly where it is. So you can do as much as you want. So let's say we want to add some other stuff. Let's put Suzanne right there. Let's also add a bit of subdivision for her. She looks cool. Do this and add her as an extra pendulum. And of course we have Suzanne right there. I'm also going to press the back button and press the play back button one more time. So with that there, I can also go ahead and select on Suzanne while the simulation is going and I can translate her wherever I want her to be. So I can choose to do that and get her right there. Now, this is not the only thing you can do with this pendulum stuff, all right? Now, if you're also thinking about how the positions of this thing would look like, you can choose to follow normals, you can choose to use randomization or uniform it is just totally up to you how you want to position things directly onto the ropes you know onto gravity ropes depends on how you want to get things going then you can just simply you know play around that all right so with that said let's also talk about two more cool features which i think you guys would definitely want to go ahead and play with so right here we have suzanne and with suzanne here once i go over to the gravity rope you would notice that automatically that the plus sign changes to this and this suggests that we can now add wires onto our model so regardless of any model that you're working with you can just simply throw wires directly onto that so with this i'm going to go through and click on this button and you would notice we have a couple of points that has been added onto suzanne you can choose to increase the amount of points that you want to be applied onto the character, the model. So for our case, if we switch this to 2%, you can have 2% more points onto our model. And if we simply leave this at 1%, we're also going to be able to have 1% of points, you know, in ratio to what the model actually looks like. So with that, if I go ahead and press the simulate button, you would notice that we have our simulation happening. Now this simulation that is happening is definitely going to cash out somewhere. And this is very, very necessary that you need to set up where your caching would happen. So if I simply pause this right now and show you guys, right over here is where my simulation is caching. So by default, your simulation caches over to your temporary folder, but this is pretty fine. But if you want to make changes, you can use this tiny button right here and relocate where your caches should be. So with our simulation going, so let's just go ahead and play this one more time. Good. So with our simulation going right here, the next thing which you would probably want to do is maybe, just maybe, you don't like the fact that this is poking out from this part of Suzanne's face, all right? So what you might want to do, let's go ahead and stop this, is we might want to change you know, the point right there. So I'm just going to play this all the way back up to this point because what is happening is they're automatically simulating and creating some awesome keyframes for you. So if I go ahead and just simply click this right over here, which is the tiny point, I can choose to unlock this point and reroute this point to where I want it to be. So let's say I want this point to be about somewhere like here. So maybe I want that point to be there. And once I'm done, I'll go ahead and also lock this point. So once we're done with, you know, locking and unlocking, let's jump back all the way to the beginning, press the simulation button one more time and have a swell time watching these things happen. So with these lovely ropes being created, animated directly, onto our model it is just pretty awesome to see how easy it is for you to use a click of a button to generate something like this so there is a huge set of things that this is going to save you time of creating now with this done if you're you know ready to get going with any of this let's say this is the final look you're going for you can choose to just click on the bake button and bake the entire thing onto your model so with our brand new scene here what we're going to do is simply show how you can split things apart so first things first which you need to do is create a couple of ropes so i'm just going to create this right here and i can also choose to move this over to this point so i'm just going to raise this all the way and then we can proceed to do a normal simulation so your normal simulation that you do is basically you know click on this button and you have your simulation happening but for today or for now what we want to do is simply find a way that we can split these ropes in half so what we are going to do before we actually get going with that 
is right here within the physics i'm going to reduce the length and let's say i can set this to 10 so we have something very simple like this going on all right so maybe i should actually make this about 20 cool so that you guys can see that in action so with this the next thing which we want to do is select this object as it is go over to our physics tab which is right here and then i'm going to set these as a rigid body and then as a collision object all right next thing which we would love to do is select any of this joint or you know any of these handles and set this to collision and not only as collision but breakable if i go ahead and press the simulate button we're going to have that happen so this way you can easily chop things in half now if this is also something that interests you you could also go ahead and add a very simple plane directly on top of this so we're adding this plane and we're just going to make this a collision object collision added here the next thing which you need to do if you just want this to actually stop right here because when we go ahead and press the playback button now you see it doesn't stop so if you want this to actually stop directly here what you need to do is also apply rigid body but don't set this as an active type just simply set it as a passive now if you set it as a passive what will happen is once we go through select a tiny node like this and simply simulate this we're going to have the object you know bounce all the way out of course this is totally up to you and how you want to get your animation happening but that is just for this particular object let's go ahead and simply scale this a little bit more so that we can have some rest when this actually falls all the way to the floor so cool stuff you can do with this particular plugin anything that has to do with spring how you want your breakage to happen you can set all of that right here so if you want your breakage to happen in some very awesome ways if you want this to spring a little bit if you want to play with the collision of course you can do all of that the two things that simply seems to be able to control how your breakage happens is the repulsion and also the breakage right here so once you're done you can go ahead and simulate exactly what you want and this creates automatically all right it creates a very lovely looking set of keyframes for you so if this is also something you want to use for animation it got you covered so there you have it the gravity rope is here link is going to be in the description where you can get access to this thing and actually start working with it it's an awesome tool of course if you also want to check out you know what the rating is about this tool it's pretty decent because right here you get to see that it's rated five solid stars and you can obviously do a whole lot of things with this tool if we choose to actually go ahead and make a very simple stuff like this i would just go through and show you some you know interesting stuff that you guys might actually find lovely so if we go over to the geometry you know how you have your default shape this way you can also proceed to tweaking the shape just to fit into what you want so right now you can tweak this shape and you know you can get this lovely stuff going so this is about it and i would like to know what you guys think about this particular one in the comment section of course this tool is just so awesome if you want to create ropes you want to get things up and running you can go over to the link in the description and get this a whole lot of things are right here that has to do with documentation i would love to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace